Hey everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I am back with another tutorial. Uh, I call this now Tuesday Tutorial. I like that name. Uh, so yeah, let's just get on right with the video. So today I am making a mob farm slash XP farm. Um, so to start out with, it's typically better to go up to, I think, uh, I think you go up 150, I th hope that's right, 130 maybe, uh, blocks into the air, just pull yourself up. Uh, that's just better because then no mobs will spawn uh, down on the floor. Uh, the uh, ones at the top will spawn which is a lot better because that means that there's a lot more mobs that you can kill uh, really easily so I'm just going to um, I have not world edit it's just like regular world editing things but I'm going to be using that so zero and then zero and I'm just gonna place a block right here and fill by the way, I'm using iron blocks. You do not need to use iron blocks. I th just think that they're very nice to build with because you can see uh, the edges really easily and nicely. Anyway, uh, so, and then I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to change this to, um, let's go with 200. That should be good. And then iron block. And there we go. So 144, that should be really, really okay. Uh, so yeah, just pull yourself up really high. Now once you get yourself to the top, I suggest just making like a nice little platform for yourself to stand on. Um, I am in creative, so I could just fly around, um, which is a lot easier. But if you guys are in survival, not a big deal. It's just going to be a little harder for you guys. Uh, yeah, but really fast, these iron blocks can totally just be like cobblestone, I'm pretty sure. That's totally fine. So yeah, just make yourself a nice little platform. Now once you have this little nice platform, uh, what you want to do is you want to come over here and uh, just kind of make this four little blocks right here and put these four little blocks and then bring it up by two on each side then you want to grab your glass and bring it across like that and put half slabs here uh, these are just good in case any uh, little um, zombie spawn baby zombies spawn um, you don't want them to come and eat you so can we just spawn like a baby one just to show that no? Okay. okay, no. Oop, my bad. So I guess these guys are just here now. Can we push them? Alright, alright. Anyway, let's just get back on with this tutorial. Oh, and also, just really fast, torches just light this place up. Uh, so that no other um, uh, monsters can come kill you if you uh, decide to go AFK for like an hour while this is dropping things. But once you have that, uh, what you want to do is you want to build this up. Well, actually, first you want to close it off a little bit. Um, I think this should be a 1x2 area, like that, so that the monsters will fall into there. And also, you can just light this little part up, too, if you'd like, just to be extra careful. Uh, fun little fact, oops, if you hit F3, you can see all this stuff right here. And if you go to light right here, you can see your sta what block you're standing on. It says 10 right here by light. Uh, that is the light level of that block. And anything below, I think, 7 will spawn monsters. So you should just keep an eye on that, uh, just even when you're out of the world. Anyway, uh, so now you got to build this up 23 blocks. So one... <clears throat> uh, well, one, two, because we already have that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Just like that. Uh, so let me just finish this up really fast. 
All right, and once you have it all the way built up, what you want to do, oops, <laughs> is you want to come over here and you want to bring it up by two everywhere like this, except for these two blocks right here. And then you just want to make a little roof right here, just like that. Uh, so the monsters will be coming this way. I believe they'll be being pushed by water. Oops, can I get through here? And then they'll come over here and they'll eventually just drop down and then they won't be damaged all the way. Uh, you will be able to just one hit them and they'll die. So yeah, uh, make sure it's 23 blocks by the way because if it's not then they will die and you will get bones and whatnot, or not bones, well, whatever you get is dropping, all the different monsters. You will get their items, but you won't get the XP, uh, so it's really up to you. So once you have this right here, all you wanna do is you wanna bring this out by, I believe it's eight blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like that, oops, like that, uh, and then you can make this glass if you want, I'm just going to use iron for right now, uh, but you want to bring the walls out to like this, uh, and then you also want to do this on the other side, and just for the sake of time, I'm going to just uh, skip the... Eh, I don't really need to skip. Well, actually, I have to do the top, too. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you do the top. I'm just going to let you guys skip me doing this. Oh, uh, by the way, once you have this, uh, you just can close it up like so. Um, but really fast before we do that, I just want to make sure that this is the correct length. So just put two water buckets. And I forgot that they'll be flowing the wrong way. Uh, so just block this off and they should flow all right <clears throat> so sorry it's right here so I should place them right here they should flow just to the edge but they should not quite go down so when a monster gets in here he'll be pushed down until he reaches the very edge this is slow so I'm just going to walk myself and then he'll fall down so once you have that you just want to close it off over here I'm just gonna get in through the top <clears throat> and you just break all that and then you put the iron right there and you just make a 4x4 four four area right there so once you have that uh, what you do is you just go around just like so and you go just like that so now you have this little section right here so now it should be starting to look kind of like this uh, what you want to do now is you want to bring it nine blocks back. So one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, sorry. Uh, you go nine back, but you actually count this block right here. So it should be right off the edge like this. I thought that there was a little bit of a mistake. Um... Okay, sorry about that. So then you want to do that on all sides too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you just bring this back out. And then same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And do that over here too. And then do it over here too. I wasn't counting. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine i think that was super messy one two three four five six seven eight nine all right i think i did it <laughs> i think it's correct and then you just bring this out here and then what you want to do is you want to create this little uh square actually it's quite a big square but you just want to create a square like so oops and you want the walls to be i just believe too high or one high. I think we're going to bring it up later. I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember this all from memory. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will build it up. I think it's one, two, three, like that. Yeah, it's going to be four blocks high in total. Anyway, so I'm just going to go around and I'm going to build up all these walls around. And I'll catch you guys once I am done. So now you should have something kind of looking like this. Uh, so what you want to do now is you want to fill in this platform right here with blocks. Uh, luckily, since I'm in creative mode, I can just go iron like that. 
and that should does that not work huh all right well it looks like I'm gonna be doing this by oh, oh okay never mind <laughs> there you go uh, so then it should start looking like this and then what you want to do is you just want to bring this up by three all the way around and let me just do that really fast myself so once you have done that it should start looking kind of like this now what you would want to do is you want to go right under here and you want to get back into here because I lo accidentally locked myself out uh, oh come on I can't get back in okay looks like there's a hole oh okay I forgot to fill this in but if we just can get right in here uh, you can fill that back up again and you just put a hole just like that and then you come back over here to the edges grab your water buckets and you just put two source of uh, water sources right there it should drain <clears throat> right to the edge and then you do the same right here um, oops my bad I accidentally put it in the wrong space so let's just get that out of there um, or I could just use the block I think it's this one right yeah it's that one I think okay yeah <laughs> and then we just put one right there and that should fix it yes it did and then we put one right here and right here and finally right here and right here and you should see that there it makes this little pattern with the blocks missing uh, but besides that it goes to the edge so what you want to do is you want to put a bucket on the second layer like, like that and it doesn't quite go all the way so what you must do is you must take a block and you create this little 4x4 four four area like this and then two blocks on the side of it I believe that's how it is yep and you'll see that it gets pushed to the edge I do think that you can leave these here but I'm just going to take them away because I want to make it look a little bit nicer uh, so you just do this for all four of the edges and I will be right back when I have it all set up also really fast it might take a while and it might be a difficult project but if you're really de dedicated an easy way to get up would be an elevator a bubble elevator would be the best they're super duper fast um, I've also taught how to make a one in another tutorial uh, if you want to make it this high though you have to have the uh, redstone uh, length thing uh, go faster I forgot what it's called uh, go longer. Uh, you can look it up if you really care to make one. Anyway, so now it should be looking like this. If it does, then you've done a great job so far. Now, one little thing about this um, this farm is that it does not spawn spiders usually, um, but hopefully that's not a big deal. But anyway, what you want to do next is you want to come over here and you want to make a three by three area, like so. And this should be, yeah, perfect. So three by three and then put a slab right there. And then what you want to do is you want to repeat this a few times. So you go, I believe it's two blocks like this. And then you make the three by three like so. And then you put the slab on top of it. And it's every two blocks you do this, I'm pretty sure. So it should go for all the corners and then two in between. I, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it should be. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to skip ahead and finish this all. And you're also going to do it in the middle too. Uh, so it would be two blocks like so. And then you make the 3x3 three three area like so. And then of course the slab. Uh, and then also before I uh, finish this off, what you want to do is you want to place trap doors like this. Uh, so what will happen is the mobs will spawn here um, and they'll be thinking oh this is a, uh, the, these are trapdoors they're like this uh, even though they're not and they'll walk over it and what will happen is they'll fall into the water and they'll eventually get pushed down into here and then they'll get pushed down into here and then they'll fall all the way down for you to start killing them uh, so it is really a good uh, a smart way to do it. 
So I'm just going to finish this up and I'll catch you guys in just a moment. All right, so now that uh, this is finished, it should look like this right now, as of right now. Um, and then what you want to do is if you want to continue this to make it more efficient, all you want to do is bring this up by three. And then you just want to repeat this platform again. So one, two, three, or, well, one, there we go. And then you put the thing on top of it and then the uh, trap doors again. Uh, now this is if you want to make it bigger, but for the sake of the video and my time, I'm not going to make it any bigger than it is now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a roof on it. So you just bring it up by three and then you just roof it off. That's all you gotta do. Uh, once again, since I can use commands, I'm just gonna do fill these coordinates all the way to here, just because I'm kind of running out of time. Um, and then iron, and there you go. Then that will be the roof, and then you just have to put walls like this. So I will get back to you guys right when I am done with filling all of this in. All right, so we are back. Um, I capped the roof off, so now it looks like this. Uh, but for some weird, weird reason, it still has light over here. I don't understand why. It might just because it's not loading. But if I press F3, it shows right here that the block is still zero. So I think it's just a little glitch. Still means that monsters will spawn. So I don't know what difficulty this is. But if we switch it to hard, then if we exit, you probably will see that monsters will start to spawn so they'll be sent all the way down into here and then they'll be waiting for you to kill them <clears throat> so it's really as simple as that um, I think I'm going to just go AFK for why is it so light? that's so weird are you sure? is it sure? okay it says block level zero it's just really light that's so weird all right, sorry about that, guys. That was super weird. It was just a glitch. I all I, all I had to do was uh, reload the world up. Um, so now, if we look, um, it says right here. It says zero sky zero. Sorry, it doesn't matter what the block says. It matters what the sky says. So yeah, there's no light in here any longer. Uh, if we head in here, though, there's a little bit more because there's glass. Uh, yeah, but this thing should start spawning monsters really soon, uh, especially if we set it to um, time set zero. Night will we'll work too. Um, then you'll probably start to see things start to spawn. Okay, let's turn even more tonight. I think it's 14,000. Now it's pitch black. And hopefully, if you just stand here, uh, I'm going to go AFK, and I will catch you guys back in like an hour or so. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you put torches on the top. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get back to waiting around. Alright, so check this out, everyone. Uh, I actually don't know how long it's been. I think it's been like half an hour, 30, uh, half an hour to like an hour. Somewhere around there, but as you can see, we have a lot of mobs now. And I've just been sitting here AFK. And check this out, I'm pretty sure it just takes like one hit. Oops, we got it. I can't, I can't quite. Okay, I think we need to get rid of these. Can I? Okay, well, it's actually kind of hard to hit, but if you do hit them, it's just like one hit KO. And um, look at that, I have bones, arrows, gunpowder, and rotten flesh. Um. Actually, I think my game crashed when I was gone, but so you will get more. Let's see if, oops, I forgot that there will be water right there. But I'm pretty sure if we go inside of here, there, since my game crashed, yeah, there's already stuff spawning. And you can see here a zombie just fell down. He's going to go right into here. Any minute now, he'll get pushed down. There it goes. <clears throat> and then he'll go through here, and he'll get right into here, and then he'll take fall damage. And then it's just one hit from there to okay. kill him. Oh, this guy too. Uh, so if you'd like to, what you can do is you can expand this up a little bit. 
So I'm going to show you guys that really fast. If I can get out of here. Uh, so you get right in like that. Um, oh, there's a creeper. And just get that too. Now I have four gunpowder. And I'm pretty sure if you're in survival. Um, I don't think that these guys will kill you. I don't think that they'll explode. Yeah, see? Even though I'm right here, I'm pretty sure this block blocks them from exploding. So yeah, this is really, really awesome. <clears throat> uh, only thing is that, you know, it is really expensive. But it just, it works really, really well. Uh, so yeah, if you just bring this up by like two more blocks though, then what you can do is you can... Here, you know what, let me try to set it up for you guys, and then I'll be back in just one minute. So actually, all that I had to do was take out this little part right here, um, and literally just take that out, and if we get someone to fall down here, just that one little block, you take it out, come on, let's get some people, let's push them down, come on, some creepers, if we get those going down there you'll see that they'll just immediately die when they hit the ground. See? And I think there's another creeper coming. So just that one block, just that one single block will make this turn into an XP farm into just a dropper, a, a, a monster dropper. Uh, so then you can of course get some hoppers like this and also oh geez um a chest and then all you have to do is replace these with a few hoppers like that and you guys might be wondering why there's four under here i was gonna bring it down a few blocks and then as i was doing that i heard them just dying so yeah it's just it's just that little bit will do it and then you can even bring this down one more if you really really um, are going to go afk for a while uh, then yeah uh, so like that except okay never mind i'm just gonna go here and then like that should work except facing the other way like that and then we just have to take these and put them facing into the chests and now I'm just going to go AFK just one more time and I'm just going to show you guys how much stuff you can get from this little thing right here. And I'm also going to put glass, oops, glass right here. Just to make sure that we don't lose any of these items. And is this still, thing still going? Just going to make sure there's still mobs. Yeah, they're coming out right now all right so yeah i'm gonna go afk for i'd say 10 minutes just 10 minutes and i'll put a timer just to make sure that's 10 minutes and just gonna make sure that did go in yeah that did go into the chest oof geez yeah we're getting quite a lot and there we go they're all coming down so i'm just gonna go afk for 10 minutes starting right now Alright, so uh, it's been about actually 15 minutes, but if we just check, we have quite a few resources. We have 17 gunpowder, uh, 9 arrows, 6 bones, and 16 rotten flesh. Uh, so this is a really good way to get uh, bones and whatnot, and um, gunpowder especially. Um, rotten flesh, you don't really need that much though. Uh, well, actually, I don't know what you do, but if you just check in here really fast, there's still a few more mobs that could be pushed off. Uh, but yeah, this is super effective. I really suggest you guys make this yourself if you have the time and the resources. Uh, but I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. If I could just push this guy off and this guy too. Um, one thing that I did figure out though is that you come over here we just oh I don't think we can go this way can we let's just go through here uh, the one thing that I did notice though is if you come all the way to the edge over here and just build yourself out a little bit um, then mobs spawn a little bit more a little bit faster in my opinion so just like a few blocks out like that I'm pretty sure it just has to deal with the distance you are uh, so yeah this is super effective and 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, uh, then make sure you guys press that like button. And also, if you guys really liked it and you want to see more Tuesday tutorials like this one, then make sure to hit the subscribe buttons. And also, you can hit the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!